Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back to another episode of PGR4 Platinum Playthrough. And we only have two more chapters to do. So we're up to chapter 9 now. Track day specials back into the A-class bikes. And it's probably going to be quite hard. We've got um, a variety of different events. Fusion Street Races, Eliminator, Time versus Kudos. But um, yeah, on the Nürburgring for a couple of these ones. The Bayamoth. And just the normal Nordschleife, so that's going to be quite hard. But um, we'll jump into first one, Eliminator, full F1 circuit. And I think there was only one bike I didn't use, which was this Kawasaki Ninja. And I have no idea which is going to be the best one for this. Braking 8, Grip 8. I might use one of these, I think... Um, I'm going to use this one just for the first event because it's not too top speed based this track. So we'll go for that and uh, eliminate it. Oh, we have over a million kudos now as well. That's good. Right then. So a few bikes in this, a few cars. We've got the DB9R at the front. Or whatever it's called. That might not be right actually. And the F50 just in front. But we've got a great start, very quick off the line, get stuck behind the F50 straight away. Way too wide into the first corner. Oh well. And we just absolutely punted that bike. <laughs> that was the worst corner ever. Uh, I need to get back used to uh, braking and driving and all the stuff that comes with it. And steering and leaning. All the bike nonsense. Right. Let's do that first corner better this time. Actually break in time. So the bikes have flown straight to the front. That was much better this time. My driver actually looked behind then. That's quite cool. We obviously saw a crash. That was awful. Getting a lot of drifting going though. And I didn't think this would be too bad in a bike. Because obviously short track. Great acceleration on the bike. So it shouldn't be too bad. But that was awful. Getting tailgated by the panels. Actually off the track at this point. Oh, my driving's horrible in this. Slow in, fast out. Always forget. Uh, oh, that was awful. That was really bad. I doubt I'm going to catch these up, but I'll give it a go. There might be some corners that I'll be able to do it on. I'm so bad. Right, there's a big straight here, but we've got a little bit of time. In fourth gear, we'll be okay at the chicane. I believe that's probably where we're going to be all right. That fifth gear is very, very small. And straight up to sixth gear. And I've ruined it. Yeah, that was dreadful. That was turd, you might say. These guys are miles ahead. Right, that was better. Oh, God's sake. As if you can fall off down that. Right, that's noted then. You can't go too close to the apex on that corner, because that will screw you up. This should have been easier. I should have done this already. Again, I really struggle driving bikes. Uh, uh, Mercedes is trying to kill me. I like, can't go too close to this because it will... Right, like, you can go slowly down it. I think I just kind of jumped the apex and then it went downhill from there. Okay, I completely misjudged that. Further ahead though at this point. Due to the track cutting. That was quite messy. I still don't know the best line to take on a bike. Really confusing me. This is going to be a long episode, I've got a feeling. Because that Nürburg event is going to be hell. Accelerating too early there. The bikes like to drift wide quite often. I'm very surprised I didn't come off then. F50's flying though. 
Got to block him. And I, I even fail at doing that. I suck. Right, come on, I can get a bit more used to this. Oh, this is going to absolutely fly down here. I'm going to block him with all of my blocking skills. How do you do that on a bike as well? I really have to slow down. But that happens. They just undercut you. Because they can in a car. Matching for acceleration. Forgetting to change gear. And again. These gears are so short. Right, we can go on the inside of him. Use him as the corner a little bit. Oh, that's better. That's better. Right. Get a bit more used to it. T1's coming up to the F50. I think it's a T1 anyway. Oh, get off the curb, please. Right, something's happening. We're doing it. Famous last words. Right, stick close here. Now, accelerate. Still way too early on the acceleration. Well, this is going to be close, isn't it? Nice tense finish. They go so wide, the bikes. Oh, I've screwed it. I actually am terrible at this game. I physically cannot do this. I'm taking all the corners wrong. I'm falling off. This should have been done on the first go. It's not even hard. Right, getting killed, as per usual, by half the field. Squashed. We'll go on the inside here. I hate the curbs. I feel like I'm going to fall off at any moment. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's fallen off. So, eight minutes in and can't even do the first event. This is going well so far. Really well. Come on, you two-wheeled idiot. Right, go ahead of them. <laughs> God, he just... Oh, they always run over my dead body. Right, get the... Is it DBR9? I can't remember what that's called now. I don't think I've used it. Right, the Paparo is disappearing. I'll cut the corner again, but we'll let it slide. I've got a feeling that's going to disappear, that car. I don't feel like I'm going to catch up on this bike. I really am not doing very well. This corner gets me every time. I just cannot accelerate out of it. Oh, it's so hard to switch. Switch leaning. It's just disappearing, this Caparo. Right, I'm doing this bit actually well. First great corner of the race, probably. And it can keep up on this track. I'm just terrible. Right, I've, I don't think I'm going to catch that Caparo. That is rapid. I'm going to have to try and block them. Every time I go down there, honestly. I don't know if this is the best bike for it as well. That's another possibility. Well, this is going swimmingly. Right, let's go down here slowly. There we go. Right, I'm in front. 
whether that's going to stay like that is unknown. More than likely it's a no, though. Right, that was okay. Right. Come on, I can do this. I really fell off then, for no apparent reason. It just goes so wild on every corner. I just hate the arcing of the bikes. They're going to be right on me in a minute. Just drifts out there. Look, the Caparo's already up with me. And I suck at this bit. And I'm just doing it all wrong. The Caparo's coming past. My driver's egging him on, or rider. I wouldn't encourage that, because we're already getting our asses kicked. We just got to hold on. I think this possibly is a hard track on the bike, then. I'm not sure. Well, that wasn't so bad. Ooh, just hit my helmet on the thing. Right, we're staying ahead. That Caparo is really quick. It's... Absolutely leaving the F50 for dust. Well, I'm not going too close to the thing this time because that always kills me. Right behind me again. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. It's the leaning from side to side just takes so much out of the bike in terms of speed. this and you've got to lean this side down to second staying just about ahead probably got a couple minutes to stay ahead now this corner though you can hear him behind just trying to accelerate me cogs i'm in the way that's how slow i'm going really difficult he's going to fly past on this bit they can carry so much more speed through there than i can was awful as well. We're staying ahead. Come on. I really don't want to do this again. I want to get to the actual next event. Well, that's better through there. Definitely have to go slower. Still wasn't very good, but it's better. Right, I've actually pulled away to some extent, and I think the Capara is the last car. Sorry, this has been painful to watch for the first event. Oh, no. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine falling off on the last second. Oh, God. Right, that's one done. 15 minutes. Or so. Maybe a little bit less than that, but still ridiculous. Uh, right, let's have a look at the next one. Right, on to the next one. Another Eliminator on the short test track. Um, I'm going for the 99R. Again, I don't really know which is best to use on this. I'm just going for any of them. Right, this was actually quite hard when I was in the car. I think he's the Merchilago, maybe. No, it was no, it was the RUF R50, I think. I don't think this is quite as quick off the line. And actually, it's more speed-based than I thought. So this could be interesting in a non-interesting kind of way. There's a good start. Yep, that didn't go so well. Oh, there's two panels, isn't this? I need to get these medals out of the way. Because I am struggling on the bike. I'm keeping up with the FXX, though, when drafting. I don't want to get too close, though, because, well, we saw what happened just then. I'm getting knocked around, trying to go around the outside. I feel like a delicate flower on this bike that's going to fall off at any minute. I'm trying to go around the outside of the panels. I'm trying to lean. Do you know what? Oh, no. I was about to say it's going all right. Oh, this... 
What is this bike in front? I don't know why I'm in second gear. Oh, I'm actually in first. Come on. It's another eliminator. We're actually ahead on the straight. This is not a bad track for a bike. This is actually quite well suited because you only just get to the top speed around here. Then you can have these nice sweeping corners, which we like on a bike, until we go on the grass. Yeah, this is this is a, a good track for the bike, definitely. I'm liking this. I'm just going to be cautiously because I don't want to fall off because I always do that. Riding the humps, nice and good. Bit wide there. Uh, come on. You don't want to put too much power down because it actually drifts and then skids further out than, than it does when it understeers. Right, it's going well. I have to say. Famous last words, though. And you can actually nearly fly through there full speed. I think it's probably a good choice. Over the crest. I'm turning too early every time there. Keep thinking I need to, but obviously not. Right, probably down to third here. Right, well, that's better. No drifting involved that time. I think that car is possibly catching a little bit. Ferrari. Uh, two more cars to go. Oh, nearly full speed. Maybe that uh, first track, the F1 track, is actually just really hard to do on a bike because of the, the corner layouts. Maybe don't suit it so much. I mean, I was way ahead of the bikes on that one. So, that wasn't too bad. Doing alright this bit. Oh, I thought it was the finish line then, for some reason. Obviously, we've still got this uh, Ferrari to go. Oh, no. No, this isn't happening. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> there is no way that just happened. I fell off with three seconds to go. I'm done. I'm going to turn the Xbox off. That was absolutely unbelievable. Why? That was such an easy event. I was actually quite far ahead. And then I just absolutely ruined it. I don't know why. Just completely lost concentration. Well, let's call it uh, episode padding. I'm padding out the episode with that. Oh, I'm just the first corner's going to be hell again, trying to get through. It really is. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm going to go around the inside. No, that's blocked off. Nearly fell off. I feel like I need to get this done quickly. I'm so annoyed that I freaking fell off in the last second. I'm just destined to make these videos last ages. Going wide there again. Don't kill me, please. Now, how on earth did he stay on there? And that was supreme balance. Next level. Oh, the Ferrari's got ahead now. That's going to be the one to catch me. Well, I've got to not lose concentration this time because that was not good. This is where it's gaining. I'm doing it again. I'm nearly doing it again. Maybe I should have been in fifth, uh, fifth gear there. 
Right, can I go a bit fast around here? You can actually pretty much fly. Just got to have the right line. Here you can't, though. You've got to break over that crest. Try and stay near to the inside. Get a bit of drift going. He's still going to be with me the whole way, though. He's going to catch up down here. It's close. Right, just lay off it a little bit this time. Don't want a repeat of last time. Right, survived. Oh yeah, forgot you could fly through there. Oh well. I can't believe I've I fell off. Really can't. That's just wasted. I don't know how long this takes. Five minutes probably. I'm definitely further ahead now, though. At least we're getting to grips with this track. Oh, he's stretching his leg out there. Even he's getting a bit bored on the bike. And me being on it for hours. Right, we've got two left to go. The top speed of this bike is really actually quite crap. How much, how much faster can it go than 170? Right. Back onto the home straight. And the Ferrari to go. Much further ahead this time, at least. I'm still worried about the Nordschleif one. Especially the Bayamoff in reverse. Because I got confused as hell in a car on that one. Never mind on a bike. But, at least I haven't fallen off this time. And I think I was slightly further ahead there than I was on the uh, previous attempt. So, two eliminators that really shouldn't have taken that long. But they did. All good fun. Right then, on to Time versus Kudos. And, I don't know which, uh, which is the best bike for this. Drifting, five, five. Six, so I guess a high booster then. If it is better drifting, but obviously the stats might lie. But I might might as well just try it out. Um, twenty three seconds. I don't think this was too bad, but that's always my last words. Right, I've got to remember to actually um, do a wheelie this time and do all that jazz. we got a wheelie, and then do the skidding. And then wheelie, and then fall off, and stay on it, and somehow do something. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You're going to see a lot of randomness in this. Oh, oh yeah, that's a... <laughs> that's a, uh, a corner there. A very sharp one, in fact. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a horrendous attempt. Right, that wasn't so bad, actually. Maybe it's all about drifting, this one. Forgot to stop accelerating. Oh, th this is not going well. Right, maybe I should just concentrate on... Um, maybe drifting? I don't know. I'd have to do a wheelie at the start, because this is kind of like straight, isn't it? So, get a wheelie going here. I'm going to drift there. And then... Fall off here. Apparently you don't get kudos when you're on the grass. Kind of makes sense. What is going on? This bike's going all over the place. I'm in the wrong gear. Right. Oh, that is... I don't even know how long this track is, you know. Right, that was... That was actually all right. Well, I've nearly used them um, all the time up already. I'm in. <laughs> uh, I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm scared. I'm off. The, I'm off the track. I'm not actually that far away, you know. 
if I could just somehow drift until the finish line now. Like this, and then do a wheelie. Come on. No way. Oh, as if I've just done that. That was such a pathetic lap. Just half wheeling, half drifting. I was close as hell. Um, so apparently that wasn't too difficult because I can do it with that lap, which wasn't pretty at all. But I think it's the um, Nürburgring now. Right, moment of truth. Street race. Nordschleif. Or Nordschleifer, whichever pronunciation it is. I think the Hayabusa has got the um, highest top speed. Although I was recommended to use the R1000 as well. But I think that's probably slightly less on top speed. So I'm just going to give the Hayabusa a go first. And uh, see what happens. It didn't tell you top speed, does it? No. I wish it told you the actual stats instead of just like a, a number. That would have been a lot more handy. Right, in the wet as well. We've got a McLaren, we've got a Koenigsegg. There's going to be an ultimate aero somewhere in the mix. Right, I'm going to have to do the... Oh. Right, I've got through there. I've gone aerodynamic, push forward on the left stick to try and help me out as much as possible, but I'm going to absolutely get destroyed by this little mother coming through. Yes, come through. There's another bike there getting in the way. Top speed of over 200, which is better than any other bike, I believe. Apparently, we've got to yeet it into this first corner. But I don't really know how I'm going to do that without dying. Oh, no. It, that's not actually the right event I'm thinking of. That was actually the Bayamoth one. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bit naughty. That gun put just sliced me up and put me in a salad there. Oh, I think we've uh, we've royally screwed that now. We're far behind. Even the Selena 7 is ahead. And the R50. Oh, this is slippy on this road. I'm going to have to redo that. This, this is slippy. The bike has no grip. I don't think this is the best handling bike in the world. But it's the... Um, obviously got the best top speed. So... That does leave me in a bit of a sticky situation. Do I go for the better handling for the long long corners? Or do I go for the top speed just to give me a slight advantage on the straights? Because that keeps up with the Koenigsegg up until 200. That's pretty impressive, I'd say. And this is another bike that I'm flying past. So I've already gained a few tenths on that. I mean, the brakes are fantastic. I just need to get used to when to brake. Gone over the curb. Oh, it's awful. The ultimate arrow is going to be the one to beat. Too wide around there. Some of these corners are going to be hard. Oh, it's just it's so slippy, this track. I've gone off now. Bike's going insane. The gun puts past me. Oh, it's too slippy. It's so slippy, this surface. How on earth am I going to keep up with them? In all honesty. You can't even go around there properly. Oh, no, this is not going well whatsoever. I'm absolutely miles behind him. I'm usually not bad on this track as well. Hmm. Interesting. Right, I'll give the um, that other Suzuki a go. See if it's any less slippy. Um, uh, where is it? Right, that's got better braking grip, so we'll give that a go. Okay, so obviously we're going to lose a bit of time on the straight, but it might be less slippy, it might be better handling. It might be better off the line, I don't really know. Well, that definitely is better off the line. That absolutely is better off the line. But this is the problem. 
185 miles per hour. That is the big issue with this spike. And that's going to really affect the start. And drafting doesn't do anything when you go in this speed. And other bikes are actually slightly quicker. See, this is the issue with this tactic. Because you start on the straight. Right, I'm going to have to review how this actually handles. If it's any better or not. Oh, Gumput, please. Leave me alone. Right. I think... Yeah, this is this is better. This is definitely grippier. Okay, it seems top speed doesn't count for everything because I can actually ride this round here without it slipping all over the place, so there is that. I need to get this ultimate error out of the way. Oh, an expense of dying. Because there's only one lap as well, you have to get the corners right, but the arc of the bike makes it so difficult to actually stay on the track. But I'm just so far behind first, second, third already. It needs to be the perfect start really, doesn't it?
Yes! Get in there! Oh my days. That has literally taken me 3 hours and 15 minutes to do one event. I can't believe it. That The second half of the track I cannot get right at all. And they catch me right up, and I've fallen off about a million times. But that's one of the Nurburgring events done. Oh, I can't even, I don't even know what's next, I'm just going to continue to it. I can't believe how difficult that was on the Nurburgring. That took me so long to get used to that. And I'm exhausted now, because I've actually been recording for 3 hours and 45 minutes. That's a corner. And I've still got the bay off to do, so... No idea what the hell's going to go on next. I'm definitely not showing all that footage. <laughs> no chance, I'll just have to show me crashing all the times it happened, which was a lot. I have to say, on a bike, it's impossible on some corners to take them well. It feels like you have to go so slowly around them. Like, this is going horrendously so far. I'm actually getting a bit cross-eyed. Probably should have taken a break before I started the next event, to be honest. These uh, corners are nice to take on a bike, for sure. I can't tell you how many times I got to the end of that race and then fell off on the grass or something. It was a lot of times. was absolutely terrible. I don't think this is going to be quick enough, to be honest, because I've done awfully. And I've still got, yeah, a few checkpoints to go. And this bike doesn't go very quick. It's very good at handling and braking and all that stuff, though. It's the one you have to use to do it, I'm pretty sure. We have got a chance of doing this, actually. Depending on how I can do this first corner. Not too bad. And we've got one more to go. I've done horrendously on a lot of this. Is it going to be enough? It's going to be hella close. Yeah, I have done it. Oh, so that's that one done in a few attempts. I literally have to do the behemoth now. After going for 3 hours and 50 minutes. Let's just do it.
So I've somehow got to go around the back or go reverse in this track. I don't even speak now because my brain's fried, but I've somehow got to go the reverse around the Nürburgring now and try and do this. And there's an F50 this time. Whoa. Okay, I don't even know where I am at this point. Definitely easy to get in front on this race than that actual Nürburgring track. Not this reverse nonsense. Right. So this is going to be a pain. Oh. Oh no, that's not going to be it. I think I've got to get in front of that F50 because that's going to be a pain. I think that's going to be harder to catch than anything. Maybe the McLaren F1 might have been just as quick to be honest, but I'm not sure which gets driven quicker by the AI. But this is going to feel like that completely new track again. Right. Oh, do we go on the back straight now, though? Oh, yes. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Are we supposed to block them all the whole way down? I might not be that far behind them by the end of this, though, to be honest. Although they're in the higher boosters, for sure. Whoa, the map didn't load then. That was weird. That was very weird. So I've got to try my best to get in front on the first corner. But then I'm, I'm not confident I can block them all the way down there. I then just stay on for the rest of the track. So how are we supposed to get around him on this first corner? That's impossible. I've just gone the grass as well. It's not going to help my case at all. But I'm in a better position than last time, at least. Got to stop a view of them coming past, at least. Done it again. I can't see where I'm going because of the track. Keeps not loading.
Oh my god, I have done it. That took just as long as the first one, and I fell off right at the end as well. I couldn't believe that. That was absolutely ridiculous. That was another three hours, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which one was harder out of those two street races. I had to completely block the F50 in that and get him stuck behind the FXX. That was the only way of even slightly doing that. And then I gave myself a heart attack on the last corner. Luckily, I had such a lead that um, I was able to get back on and actually win that one. But finally, I had to actually do this the next day. So this is my second attempt at this um, event the day after. But we'll get back to the, uh, the main menu. So, somehow, actually managed to do Street Race and the Bayamoth. Well, the both Street Races, sorry. Nordschleif and the Bayamoth on the bike. I have to be honest, that is harder than any event on in PGR2 by far. That is the hardest thing I've had to do in any racing game, I'm pretty sure. That makes the Grand Touring Cone Challenge look easy on PGR2. That is absolutely solid. Hardest thing I've had to do... But it means we have one more chapter to do, um, chapter 10, in the C-Class, Breakthrough, Speed Challenge, Overtake, Time versus Kudos, Cone Sprint, Eliminator. I'm not too worried about this now after that, but um, this Time versus Kudos is going to be the hardest one, so this will probably take me a little while to do. But the other one shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But um, I'm just glad that's over. Um, I'm definitely condensing that massively. I'll just show you all the crashes and all that stuff. And yeah, the first time I stopped talking in any event, for sure. <laughs> Three hours of just absolute crashing and impossibility. But 
did it in the end. So that's the end of this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed because I did not enjoy that one. But I'll see you in the last episode, which is the ultimate challenge for the bike medals.